All right, today we're going to be talking about Zhao. Now, Zhao is coming up in the upcoming rerun banner, but of course, whenever you watch this video, the information is all going to be the same. We're going to be talking about Zhao, what's so good about him, what's so bad about him in a really fast, easy video because this is going to be Zhao's guide for dummies. Now we are going to be talking about his talents, his weapons, his artifacts, the team he needs to be on in a really simple, really easy to digest way. So let's get straight into it. Um, first for Zhao's talents, we do have a big set of, I guess you could say, prioritization because a lot of Zhao's kit is really, really good. For his normal attack talent, um, although the string does look really, really nice, um, this is not something that is important. Really, it's his plunge attack from his normal attack that is going to be important. This is why you're going to be leveling it up because that's going to be the main source of his damage. And we're going to be talking more about that in a quick second. Um, his second talent is his skill. Now his skill is a dash. You can point it in any direction and you have two charges both with a um, 10 second cooldown on each charge. So although it does take a minute, this is of course going to be the way you get Zhao his um, burst up really, really quick. Now there are some um, caveats to his skill which we're going to be talking about very, very soon in his burst because his burst is basically all of what um, makes Zhao what Zhao is. And let's go ahead and talk about the burst. Now the burst is the bane of all evil state, so we are going to have Zhao get a big attack boost. He's going to be able to jump very, very high, and his plunge attack is able to do a big AOE when you plunge attack. Now you do get your normal attacks and your all of your attacks converted into a Nemo damage, so that's basically where you get all his damage. Um, but in his state, there is one small con, which is you are going to be losing 2% health every second. Now, this isn't really that much of a concern because you will be having healers like Bennett, um, a shielder, which you're possibly going to need, which I'm going to get to that very, very soon. Um, so a lot of these things aren't really going to matter when it comes to HP consumption. But another thing to notice as well is that when you're using his ult or his burst, you are not going to want to be using his skill. And this is because his skill doesn't generate particles while he's in his ult. So you kind of want to make sure you do his skill before you ult, like skill, skill, and then ult, or skill, skill, burst. And then you'll get the particles funneled into your ult before you actually start up your ult. That way you can have like basically 100% efficiency or optimization on you getting your particle regen for your Zhao. Now, talking about Zhao, there is one thing regarding his normal attack that is, I guess you could say, a uh, very minute detail, and that is his low and high plunge damage. Now, if you're going to be jumping with Zhao, of course, so you can get that plunge attack, do not immediately press, you know, the attack one to plunge, because if you jump and immediately damage or immediately attack, you will end up getting the low plunge, which you'll be getting at 280% at level 8 talents. Um, you really want to aim for the high plunge and of course you want to hit the really good sweet spot where you hit the high plunge threshold but you're not going super high up into the air because that way you're not wasting time you're doing as much damage as you possibly can and you get a big chunk of percentage of damage um, when you're getting the high plunge. That's basically it when it comes to Zhao's talents. Um, like I said, basically his Bane of All Evil state gives him an attack increase and then his uh, Lament when Cycling which is a skill increases damage every time you use it. And then he does have climbing, stamina, so you know, he is really, really good for adventuring. Another really, really cool thing that I'll be showing you in the footage as well is that you can use his skill to basically float in the air. And when you float in the air, you do get your stamina back and then you can use that to keep on climbing. Although it does take a minute for it to charge back up, you can do this basically infinitely and be able to climb as many tall, I guess you could say structures as you need to with Zhao. But going on to his weapon, Zhao is of course a main DPS, a very big hyper carry DPS, so any crit damage, crit rate, spear is going to be helping him a lot. The Staff of Homa is a really really good option because when you're losing HP during your ult, you're going to be activating Staff of Homa's passive. Um, Primordial Jade Wing Spirit is his signature weapon and it's going to be giving him a bunch of stacks based on how many times he hits enemies. Um, other weapons like, you know, the Deathmatch is really really good because the passive um, is because you're using AOE attacks, there's going to be more than one opponent. You're going to be getting a big attack and defense increase, so that's going to help a lot. Um, the Black Cliff Pole as well with crit damage is going to help. But basically, any crit rate, crit damage um, weapon um, with high base attack or moderate, you know, moderately sized uh, base attack is going to be really, really good for Zhao. Now, there is one difference, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky with Zhao. Is that some people or some, you know, builds require you to run an energy recharge weapon. Now, this is because... Zhao is a burst reliant character. You really want to have Zhao at 100% burst time. You want to make sure every time it's off cooldown, you're using burst. It's because this is where most of his damage is going to come from. 
um, if you don't have really good energy recharge substats or use energy recharge sands, um, you're gonna really want to have to run a you know some type of energy recharge weapon. That way you can keep your burst going up. It is going to affect your crit rate, crit damage ratios, but um, I think it's just a little bit more worth to be able to burst 100% of the time. So basically, any crit rate, crit damage weapon, um, and you know if you needed an energy recharge weapon, uh, go into his artifacts. There are two separate builds you can run. Um, the more basic one, which the one I prefer you using if you have the resource for it, of course, is the Veridus and Veronair and Gladiator's Finale or any other artifact set that has 18% uh, percent attack increase. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of different ones in the game, so it's really easy for you to get that section done. Um, but there is another different set you can use, and that is the Vermilion Hereafter. This set is Zhao's signature set, technically. Um, it gives you the 18% attack increase. But then when you use burst, when you're losing health, you're going to be gaining attack buffs. And this is basically going very well with and syncing very well with Zhao's burst. Um, it does take a minute to get this set because it is a resin efficient way because the other set isn't really that good. Um, you could really just do well with uh, Veridus and Veronair for the amino damage and the um, Gladiator's Finale or any other artifact set that gives attack 18%. So you go which one you think you can get easier. I do think this is the better pick. It does basically comparable damage to the actual four piece set. Um, but whatever you can get easier, whatever subsets you get that are better, um, rock with that. There is one thing you want to make sure that you're doing, which is of course running the standard DPS build crit rate, crit damage, and you really, really, really want to get energy recharge substats. Like I said before, you want to have Zhao and his burst up all the time so that when it goes off cooldown, you're immediately bursting and doing a butt ton of damage. Um, you can change your sands. The attack is preferable, but if you do need the energy recharge very badly, um, you can go ahead and swap out an attack sands for ER sands. Just hope you get a little bit of attack substats, some crit rate, crit damage. That way you can balance out what you're losing from basically replacing the attack sands. Um, other than that, his constellations, C1, C2, and C6 are gonna be his best constellations. Um, C4 is probably the weirdest constellation ever in the game, giving Zhao 100% defense uh, when he's under 50%, that is super weird. Um, C1 gives him an extra charge on his skill. C2 gives him energy recharge when he's not on the field, making it easier for him to get ult. And C6 basically gives you unlimited skills um, while you're in ult, so that's really, really cool. But that's pretty much it for Zhao. Now, other than Zhao himself, his teams, it's where it gets a tiny bit tricky because you are going to be building everything around your team around Zhao because he is a hyper carry. You don't want to make sure he has all the buffs, all the things he needs to be able to get the highest damage and really push him to his limits. Um, Faruzan, of course, is 100% his best partner, is Amino Shred, Amino uh, Boost. So you're gonna get a big damage buff, especially C6 Faruzan because it gives extra crit damage. Um, Bennett or any other buffer that you can get, preferably Bennett because you get the healing, is gonna be really, really good for Zhao. Gonna boost his attack and also give him the healing that he needs when he's in his ult because he will be losing um, health. And then any type of shielder. Zhongli does work the best because he does have universal shred of 20% um, and he has the best shield in the game. But you really do wanna run a shield, either it be Diona, Layla, um, or Zhongli or anybody else that way you're not getting flung around while you're in your ult because although you are in your ult and you do dodge a lot of attacks just because you're so high in the air you are still probably going to get thrown around if you don't have a shield and if you're getting thrown around taking a lot of damage especially with Zhao losing health while he's in his burst you're going to end up possibly losing Zhao or something or having a lot of bit loss of DPS so you really want to invest in a shielder um, Bennett's really, really good, and Faruzan, of course, really, really crazy good. Um, other than that, there are some substitutions if you have them. Uh, Raiden Shogun is really, really nice as well because he does allow Zhao to get some energy recharge from, you know, her ult or her E, and he can use E to have reactions with it while he's in his plunge attack. But other than that, there's pretty much it to Zhao. You want to really have a big team that centers around him, gives him all the buffs that he needs so that he can go crazy with his um, burst. But that's pretty much it for Zhao. I hope you guys really enjoyed this guide. If you do, make sure to sub, like, and all that type of stuff. Um, but this is Zhao's guide for dummies.